doors. Ugh. Disgusting Byzantium, haven't Whatever, I'm not getting involved down there. I would... I could vassalize these guys and get them their cores back by having Austria stomp all over Ottomans in my name. But I'm just not interested. I do not want to delve down into there. Ugh. Byzantine scum. All right, it is time to become mine. Firstly though, I'm going to get more troops over here because I'm gonna to need to kill some Ottomans. I've got a pretty badass ruler. So, I know it's really ahead of time. I'll wait till the next tick. And I'll take military tech 15 because it's a, a real, well, at this point it'll just bring me up to speed. But it's definitely worth having. There we go. The ahead of time for years ticks down by one in January. So I waited till January to get my Mauritians. Just need to wait to get my morale back. And then I will make Venice a vassal. And then it's time to stomp on the Ottomans. But I'll bring in my good friend Habsburg to help deal with that. Oh, okay. Again, sniped. Okay, one more month and we should be good to go. My ruler's all right, but I'm gonna make a general and make him fight in this. He needs to prove his mettle. Turn of the month and I fight the Ottoman. Oh. That's disgusting. But I'll deal with you. Hopefully you lose your alliance with Austria over religious differences. Okay, right. Become my vassal. I want you to keep your claim on Verona. And everyone will be happy. War against Epirus and Ottomans. Hey, Austria, you love me, right? Okay, so he automatically joined. I swear they said they'd fixed this. Nowhere to run, my friend. Nowhere to run. Oh, and we're on crusade. This is great. Okay, well he does have somewhere to run. All the way home. With his tail between his legs. And now Austria can do all the heavy lifting. I'm going to get my troop numbers back up. And just otherwise enjoy being a free agent. Now... I could fight Tuscany with their uh, cleansing of heresy. 
but it wouldn't it wouldn't help. Well, that's a lie, actually. I could fight them with it and force them to break their alliance with uh, Austria. But I would need a lot of infantry for that. Mind you, as long as they're in the coalition, there's nothing much I can do about that. Again, that's another reason I hope I get uh, attacked by this pathetic coalition. Hmm. Actually, maybe I'm onto something there. If I fight someone who's in this coalition, that'll drag in Tuscany. France, for example. Yeah, allied with Poland, uh, Portugal rather, but the Iberians don't have Tech 15. I'll think about it once this Ottoman War's over. Almost entirely made of hills, I could build a march here. Yeah, sure. Bit of manpower. Yeah, they take white piece, I'm not concerned about the Ottoman right now. As long as he's not allied with France or anything like that. And Epirus? No, they got no cores. Yeah, but my thinking is, uh, if Austria fights on my side, they'll be fighting Tuscany and that'll break the alliance, and then I can just break truce on Tuscany later, whilst they have no alliance with uh, France, with uh, Austria rather. And in the spirit of that, oh, no, 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 covert claim Siena go. alternative would be to fight Naples, then I'd get Tuscany in a war. Ah, but Naples is allied with uh, Austria. Aragon? Yep, Austria. But if I fight France? Ooh, baby. Alright, you guys get out of here. Oh, of course. Give Venice back their core. Because I don't want it. Ah, discovered. Those are the breaks, though. Now, France isn't wanting to take my bait on Brittany. That's okay. Consider the options if I attack France. Only costs 55 dip to get that up. Uh, 55 admin. Right. Oh, treasury. No, I'm thinking of the wrong thing. Uh, 
This is good, even at minus two stability. Nowhere wants to revolt. Okay, Poland and Austria would both join in. But if I fight France, who am I looking at? Portugal, Castile, and the coalition members. It would be a coalition war, so I can only take claims and cores. Uh, France has tech 15, but so does Austria, and so do I. I've also got a lot more troops than I ever had in previous wars, and I'm tanked up with manpower. Military powers of potential guys. Austria is tanked on manpower, but he has a lot of men. France, loads of men and manpower. Poland, no manpower, plenty of men. Might be an idea to let Poland, uh, Poland and Austria rest for a short while. So we're making tons of money, so I'm thinking some more cannons would be of use. Big fan of cannons. A huge fan of cannons. As soon as you can afford them, fill your back row with them. Charge infantry. Are they any good? Brittany's core is still good, and Guillen's. Correct. They're all still good. Three cores for Guillen, three cores for Brittany, and what will soon be two claims for me. So when I fight France, the goal of the war is to exhaust Austria, get some cores for Guillen. Guillen has precedence over Brittany by a long way. And Breton cores will last a while. Take my two claims, because who needs administration points, but also to fight Tuscany as soon as the war is over, so I'm going to stay at minus two stability. Can I ally Great Britain before declaring on France? Would they join too? No, they hate me. Also, I've had them as a rival for a very long time, just to keep uh, Austria friendly. We also have full defensive ideas, so people can come to us, and we will destroy them. Of course, it's kind of mountainous down here. But we'll be okay. I want to keep a close eye on that Austrian manpower. I want to see how quickly it goes up. Eleven six nine nine. Twelve. Okay, so it gets about a thousand a month. Not bad. France probably gets much the same. Cologne, Munster, blah, 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 blah. As soon as my cannons are done, I'm gonna wreck you. I mean, in a more ideal situation, I would wait longer. But who wants to wait? what I would say, but uh, I'm actually going to wait a year and invest in some level 3 forts. That should do. Oh yeah, Granada will get wrecked in this war, but Granada is just a number. 